Well, at this early stage of the season, what's the biggest challenge for a team, Grant? Well, you know, VA, early on, some teams know what kind of club they are. But for a lot of teams that have some turnover or a coaching change, it's about finding who you are, finding your identity, figuring out what style is going to work. Number now, 18, Denver's starting five. Four, three. Gordon is the four with the Joker in the middle. MP is out there with Jamal Murray. Outside heel. Pass to Matherin. The three. Gordon pulls it in. Now here's MP. Defense right on him. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. Good luck. It is good. And he'll go to the line. Oh, he really That's fought for that for one. Nuggets. Battling through Number contact 18. to complete the one play. Shot. Incredible, incredible body control right there. Don't know how he was able to get that one to go. This sure was a thing of beauty to watch. Now here's Halliburton. Hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. And it's Matherin missing. Jamal Murray suffered a terrible knee injury back in April of 2021, tearing his ACL late during that season and missing over a year of basketball as a result. Shot is good by Gordon. <laughs> I just love the ball. Pass to Matherin. We played just over a minute here in the first. Heel from outside. Indiana again missing. Clark, for a guy like Murray, ACL injuries used to be a potential career ender. Not anymore, though. You're exactly right, B.A. I mean, with the advances in Time modern medicine and rehabbing from injuries, the way these guys strength train, it really is remarkable that they're able to come back and in many cases be better than they were before after what used to be a career-ending injury. That's thanks to doctors and physical therapists. The modern medicine change has changed the NBA, elongating careers for sure. And so it's Indiana with it, following the score by Denver. Now here's Halliburton. 17 points in his last outing. Matherin. Down it goes. He's had a great assist by Halliburton. It's such an efficient long-range shooter. Matherin could emerge as a strong 3 and D wing as early as his rookie year. Oh, wasted no time on that one. MP's got nine points. Five buckets without a miss. That's a fantastic start. Pass to Matherin. Back to Halliburton. Let's it fly. And it's Denver with a rebound. And this matchup with the Pacers, their first meeting of the season. Yeah, they had some trouble with this team last year, splitting the season series. Yeah, you know, most teams have games where they wish they could get a bullet. Take it back. Because last year, their one loss in this series was one I know they wanted back. Where was the defense? Can't allow Hill to get this kind of positioning to throw it down. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. That's to Turner from behind the arc. Gordon pulls it in. And <laughs> just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. The Pacers were involved in one of the biggest trades of last season, Clark. Sending Demonis Sabonis to Sacramento for Tyrese Halliburton. I'll tell you what, it gives Indiana one of the most exciting young players in the NBA, B.A. And I think the sky's the limit for this kid, Tyrese Halliburton. He's got all the skill set that you want in the point guard position. And in addition to that, he's a galvanizer. He's a connector. He's a leader. And that could serve the small market pacers extremely well. To the middle. Outside for Halliburton. And it's Denver with a rebound. Jokic has got four rebounds now. Pass to MP. The shot. He squares up and sinks it. He's got 11. This has been just a dreadful start for them defensively. Not good at all. And to battle back, they've got to shore up the defense. I mean, there's no other way to come back from a deficit unless you play good defense. Now here's Heal. And you look at the numbers, currently around 22 and a half points a game. Halliburton misses. It's never easy from that distance, but we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. And it was maybe a step out of his range. Here's MP. What a tremendous game he played against San Antonio. Counted from Three. distance. 
The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Very high percentage so far, and if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. And the basket for real. That's how you up the ante. Come right back at it. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Now here's MP. 14 points for him. In transition, here come the Pacers. Here's Nora. Can't get it to drop. Now Denver takes it the other way. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. MP outside. He tries for three. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Murray's got four assists now tonight. Wow. Some strong perimeter shooting here in the first quarter. How do you stop this? I mean, it seems like they can't miss. Now here's Heal. He's guarded closely. Pass to Halliburton. Here's Matherin. Three-pointer. That shot off. And so it's Denver. The end of the of 15 points score. as this quarter concludes. They've had incredible success the defensively, Nuggets. taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. We'll be right back. Here are your Indiana Pace Bays. Great wow. to have you. Making some changes here. Shooting Aaron Denver. Gordon with one of the best Two scoring years three. of his career They're last year based one. on percentages. Um, still a very productive forward in this league. Halliburton and Matherin man the backcourt together. Then it's Buddy Heald. Then it's Jackson. And it's Nuora in at the power forward. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Back to Halliburton. Jackson on the wing. Here's Matherin. Boom! He jams it straight down. Yeah, this is how Isaiah Jackson be in close. He loves jamming it home. Pass to MP. Now here's Murray. MP way outside. Rebounded by Heald. Well, Indiana shooting a very low 27% so far in this one. More than just a score. Matherin moves the ball well, especially when his guys are open. Denver has gone four of seven from three during the second quarter. On the wing, MP. The offensive rebound. Jokic gets the bucket. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Even with every shot clanging off the rim, he seems determined to keep hoisting up these three. It might Indiana be time ball. to get inside I'm of that arm. Jackson. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, ball. he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Shooting Boy, the Denver. defense looks shell-shocked. I mean, they're on the ropes right now, on their heels. Here's Heald. He's got five. <laughs> Driving inside. Oh, plenty of contact on that shot. That's Officials the call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That prolific score dating back to his college days. Heal just understands how to generate points. Heal hits them both. So as we conclude the first half, the a fairly one-sided game. Your Pacers, 26. The Nuggets, 58. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway. Well, as you know, Grant, this game can be so hard on your body. As a player, how do you determine the difference between being hurt versus being injured? That's a great question, B.A. Look, sometimes as players, you need someone to protect them from themselves. Today's game, the teams today are so smart about protecting players and preventing things from getting worse. But it really comes down to the players, the doctors, the team overall, just being smart and having a big picture about the injuries. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Michael Malone. Gordon is the four with the Joker in the middle. 
Jamal Murray out there with MP. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. Halliburton against Murray. Here's Halliburton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Outside Murray. MP outside. Out to the right wing. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, he tries a three. The rebound by Turner. The Pacers have gone 0 for 3 to start the second half. Pass to heel. Here's Matherin. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal When you talk about the best shooters in the NBA, Buddy Hill has to be in the conversation. Substitution on the court at the line for the Pacers. Tyrese Halliburton. One shot. You love the seemingly endless energy that Halliburton gives his team. Always pushing himself to deliver his best effort on every play, every day. And not Number often you 18. see him take that shot. Three points. MP's got 20. Heel to the ball. From deep. From beyond the arc. And then some. All range shots like that. Almost effortless for Heel. Every chance he gets, he'll take that shot. And so it's Denver with a gigantic 33-point lead at the close of the quarter. And it's time now to bring you our State you Farm Assist to the game. Now, I know he's a big man, but he's got some point guard in him if he's making passes like this. Hey, that was a high-level pass no matter what position it came from. But it does make it stand out a little more. It's made by the big fella. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. They've got Daniel Tice. Halliburton is out there with George Hill. Then there's James Johnson. So that's the group out there for Indiana. He Is turns he the offensive board into a big slam. Wow, he was so well positioned there. Credit his anticipation. That's exactly why it's important to work hard on the offensive glass, fellas, for chances just like that. Halliburton's got an open look. And it's Jordan with the rebound. I think he's gone completely dry. Nothing is hitting. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Murray passes to MP. Launches it. Good. Number and he's 18. hit 8 of 14 now. A solid offensive performance. So it's the Pacers now. Pass to Matherin. Now here's Hill. And the play-in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stats should count towards the postseason stats. Granted, it kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And, yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. That ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by him. here for Indiana. And here's MP from outside. Knocks Number down 18. the triple. Four, yeah, three. they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, 
and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something, I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what, they got it done. Pass to Smith. And the layup is good Smith. off the glass. The assist. And guys, that's Number gotta 18. be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Turner with it, covered by Jordan. Here's Nora, six to shoot, takes a three. No good that time. Here's MP. So it's the Nuggets winning this one easily. That's to walk into game. enemy territory and deliver a performance like that, that says a lot about this one. Sure they really came in looking confident and didn't let anything shake them. This is what a dominant team looks like. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Allie LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. So long, everyone.